ETA about 10 seconds, guys. Anything I can do to help, Wendy? Not unless you can drop a few thousand buckets of water on the school from your satellite, Raj. Everyone, there are still students trapped inside. I demand a recount. Nobody gets left behind. <laughs> Looks like I found the fire exit. This way, y'all. Keep it moving. Way to go, guys! Just wish I could be there. That was a scene at Central Collegiate. And we're here live with Rescue Hero team leader Billy Blazes, the real hero of the day. Helen, this was a group effort. Every member of this team is a hero. Yeah, even the guy who only watches the rescue? Aw, uh, come on, Raj. Billy's right. It was your quick response that swung the team into action. Yeah, but once I dispatch the team, all I get to do is watch. I'm a trained rescue hero too, you know. <laughs> well, I am. No, look. <laughs> Listen, Roger, we all know you're a highly skilled member of the team. Your job as the communications expert is at the heart of every rescue mission. I guess it's just sometimes I feel like the glorified bench warmer. Just once, I'd like to be in the middle of the action. Time for some boring satellite repairs. Yep, that's me, Roger Houston, space mechanic. There's nothing boring about it, Roger. We need the satellite functioning to track meteorites and a million other things. You know that. I know. Looks like solar winds did the damage to this one. Or aliens. <laughs> He's kidding, Comet. There's no such thing as aliens. I don't think. Hmm. Well, it's off by a few microns. We'll have to adjust that before I can fix the damaged panel. Actually, Comet, it is pretty beautiful out here, isn't it? Comet? Comet! Hey! Comet, that wasn't funny! <laughs> well, maybe it was a little funny. Thanks, pal. You sure know how to cheer me up. Okay, let's check the orbital calibration system again. Okay, just a few microns to the left. Oh, right, Comet. Like I'm gonna fall for another one of your tricks. Almost. Got it. Comet. The first joke was funny, but now you're just in danger! Look out! <laughs> Comet! <gasps> Comet, are you okay? Come on! Hexagon, this is Roger Houston. Come in, please. Hail the conquering rescue <laughs> heroes! Please, please, no autographs. Hey, I owe Roger a call. If he hadn't alerted us so quickly, we never would have made it in time. Incoming communication. Warren, I was just going to... Ellie, we have a problem. Roger's run into trouble out here. A communication satellite has been knocked out of orbit. I've run a simulation, and if it falls to Earth... Well... We get the picture, Warren. Where will it land? I've narrowed it down to an 80-mile radius. If it hits, it could cause destruction that even the rescue heroes couldn't stop. Our QR plane should get us there in time, but... Maybe Roger can stop this thing before it even hits. He can't. His jetpack is damaged, and Comet was knocked unconscious. Oh, no. What is it? Roger, a meteorite shower. Hang on, Comet. We're in for a bumpy ride. Come on, come on. We gotta get out of here. What the? I'll get you as close as possible to Roger and Comet. Just don't hit any meteorites. Thanks for the tip, Captain Obvious. Here, I have a feeling you're gonna need this. Thanks, Billy. 
We've got to get Common inside. That's why Ariel came up on the hyperjet. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry, Comet. We'll take care of you. Now then, what to do about the satellite? Warren had you guys bring up a portable booster rocket, right? Portable? That thing weighs 1,600 pounds. Not out here, it doesn't. One reasonably portable booster rocket coming up. Wow. Yes, right on the money. Now for the final step. Manual clampdown. You better hurry. Our meteor shower has just been upgraded to a storm. Uh, one down, five to go. Shouldn't be long now, Wendy. Good thing or I was gonna come out there and do it myself. I'm just gonna retract the arm now. What? The second meteorite shower! worry about me. Just complete the mission. Come in, Wendy. You'll have to save Billy before he runs out of oxygen. Wendy, I... Whoa! Oh. No. No. And Mom said playing dodgeball at recess was a waste of time. Roger, this is Wendy. You're on your own. Visuals are down and my navigational controls are jammed. But the only way I can save Billy is to abandon the satellite. And that could cause disaster below. Roger. Complete the mission. Stop talking. Billy, you need to conserve your oxygen. Huh? Oxygen? Billy, empty your backup oxygen tank. Empty it? I thought I was supposed to conserve oxygen. Just trust me. Well, what do you know? Thanks for getting me back here in time for the grand finale. And not a minute too soon. Now let's get this puppy strapped on. We'd better hurry. We're entering the atmosphere. The satellite is starting to heat up. If plan A doesn't work, have we got a way to stop the satellite? Yeah, let it crash into us. Uh -huh. Come on, plan A. That's it. It's on. I just hope I'm still in time to stop this thing from falling. Wendy, this is Roger. Wait for my signal, then hit the remote booster launch. A second early, the rocket flames will melt us like ice cream. A second late, the booster won't be able to change the path of the satellite. Got it. And gee, thanks for the pressure. Billy, we've got to get you inside before you run out of oxygen. Let's move! Get ready to activate the booster, Wendy. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now! <laughs> He's not working. But I'm sure my calculations were right. The satellite should be going back into orbit. You did it, Roger. Yeehaw! All right, Rog. Woo! The satellite is still showing some damage, but I think I can fix it. It'll give me something to do besides the usual routine maintenance. <laughs> the guy lives in outer space and he calls it routine? All I can say is a rescue team is only as good as its eyes and ears. I'm glad we've got the best. Thanks, Billy. But there's one other thing I have to check on before this mission is over. Ariel, how's Comet? <laughs> See for yourself, Roger. <laughs> oh, hey! I've had enough action for one day! Somebody rescue me! Every member of a team is important. Not just the ones who are in the middle of the action. When you're part of a team, everyone is counting on you to do your best, no matter what role you're playing. So remember, your role may be small this time, but it's still important. And if you do your best, when it's your turn to lead, everyone will do their best for you. Right, Comet? Hey, where's Comet? Comet? Where is that rascal? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Finally! Comet actually plays a joke on someone else for a change. <laughs>